What's happening, guys? Today, IRS. Ooh. You guys pay your taxes? <laughs> you gonna pay your taxes? All right. Well, today, IRS prepares to bring down the hammer. Boom! On Bitcoin tax cheats. I tell you what. There's one entity in the world that I don't mess with. It's Mr. IRS. I don't mess with them. Got accountants, bookkeepers, best of the best. Best investments you can have. We're going to help you keep your money, guys. Anyways, let's get into it. This is hot off the press today. Just figured it was pertinent being it's, uh, what, almost middle of February, February 9th. So, what do you need to know to get ready for your taxes? For Mr. Uncle Sam, he just wants his cut of Bitcoin, guys. That's all. Just wants his cut. Got to give it to him. He's going to come knock on your door. Uh, Mr. Jones, U.S. $80 million in Bitcoin. Not just playing. Anyway, so U.S. residents still have two more months to submit their annual federal tax returns. But the Internal Revenue Service has be already begun preparations to bring down the hammer. Hammer time on Bitcoin tax cheats. Don't be a cheater, guys. It's never good when you cheat. The tax collection agency has assembled a team of 10 investigators. Wow, 10 investigators. It's going to cover the whole 340 million people. To focus on international crimes, and one of its chief mandates is to identify U.S. cryptocurrency investors who have attempted to use these assets to avoid paying the tax man. It's possible to use Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the same fashion as foreign bank accounts to facilitate tax evasion. It must be like a Swiss bank account they must be referring to. That don't fly anymore. Said Don Fort, who heads the agency's criminal investigation division during an interview with Bloomberg. As CNN reported last year, public records requests revealed that the IRS has contracted with blockchain tracing firm chain analysis in the past to help the regulatory agency identify U.S. residents who have failed to pay capital gains taxes on their cryptocurrency investment profits. I think this is a big reason why the government's involved. Hmm. They want their piece of the pie, guys. I think they're going to get it. <laughs> the IRS received a huge boost in its quest to unmask Bitcoin tax cheats. When a judge ruled that cryptocurrency brokerage firm house firms like Coinbase must hand over records for the estimated 14,000 customers who bought, sold, sent, or received at least 20 grand worth of cryptocurrencies during any single year from 2013 to 2015. Initially, the agency had sought records from all the company's customers, but the firm successfully argued that this request was overly broad. Well, I know they've got, what, a few million people on Coinbase? Oh, 14,000. A lot of people skated by on that one. Good for you, Coinbase. That's more than 14,000 Coinbase users have either bought, sold, sent, or received at least 20 grand worth of Bitcoin in a given year suggests that many Coinbase users may not be recording their Bitcoin gains. Hmm. Shame on you guys. I'm going to catch up to you. I'm going to watch it. It's getting real, 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 real out there right now. U.S. Magistrate Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley wrote in the ruling, the IRS has a legitimate interest in investigating these taxpayers. I bet they do. If you are the IRS, they're very interested in you. <laughs> it's unclear how zealous the IRS will be in its quest to bring Bitcoin tax evaders to justice. Oh, trust me. They're going to find somebody, and they're going to want to make uh, an example. They're going to make an example out of you, okay? So, I don't want to be that example. Uh, da -da -da -da. I lost my place. Sorry about that, guys. Under current U.S. law, cryptocurrency owners are required to pay taxes on profits realized from any cryptocurrency transaction, even a pro proverbial coffee purchase. The Congressional Blockchain Caucus has introduced legislation that would eliminate reporting requirements for transactions worth less than $600, but it has not yet passed into law. 
However, Ford told Bloomberg that IRS investigators are currently focusing their attention on cryptocurrency brokerage platforms and cryptocurrency exchanges, where investors convert their holdings back into fiat. Good old dollar bill, dollar dollar bill, y'all. In any case, through the message is clear, if you have realized profits from cryptocurrency investments, Uncle Sam wants to know about it. He wants his cut. Well, this has been coming down the pipeline for a while. People gotten away with it for a long time. My suggestion for you, and again, I'm not an advisor. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I will get with your accountant, especially if you guys have done pretty well last year. Like, some of us did good. Um, get with your accountant. Talk to him. Find an accountant that understands these new laws and understands your cryptocurrency portfolio. Talk to them. See the best way you can save on your capital gains. So, that's it for today. We'll find some more news. We'll keep you up to date. In the meantime, pay your taxes, guys. Pay your taxes. You don't want that knock on the door. <laughs> I certainly don't. Until next time, Geo here. Keep it a blockchain. Go pay your taxes, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.